Lake Wobegon. It was in 2013 that Farmer Brown faced his nemesis for the final time. It was in that frothy battle that Tom Valerius, Paperboy, fell. As he had several times before, Farmer Brown and his henchman Clem were reborn from the murky waters of the Sacred Lake. And, as had happened many times before, Tom Valerius, Paperboy of Osseo, Minnesota, went to face the farmer and Clem in ritualistic battle. It was believed that it was impossible for Tom to be defeated, but this was not true. For not all legends survive to help their tales told in the papers. This evil brown man had, this time, a new strategy. The tenants of paper delivery, safety, no alcohol, no fraternization, Friendly questions, paper comes first. These were used against him. Farmer Brown knew that no amount of blunt butt force, no amount of beans or ass stabbing could defeat Tom Valerius Paperboy. It had to be done through brown magic. With it, he turned brick against us. It was her raw juice that changed everyone. On that day, all those years ago, in the darkest hours, Farmer Brown unleashed his assault. done it. Decades of hiding from the eyes have paid off. Years of research have shown a weakness to Brown, and even more years of work have resulted in a way back. I will travel to that day and do what I could never do. I will defeat Farmer Brown and change the course of history. The time machine is complete. Must be the new paper boys. You can call me Roddy Dance. I'll call you Roddy Dance. Well, who's this fine specimen? This is my lovely sister, Beth Ann Jan Jenbury. Shake her hand. Hey, Tom Valerius, paper boy. Hey. Turn around. This is a beautiful creature we have living on this land. Nice. What uh, what can you tell me about? Uh, I'm Joba Dumpus. You're Joba Dumpus. Roddy Dance. Nice to meet you. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm Roddy Dance. Uh, Tom Valerius. Tom Valerius. Yeah, great to meet you. I'm so happy you're here. Yes, uh, What's in the news today? You know, I'm sorry about this. Um, I like to bring good news to people. Okay. But not all news is good news. 
That is how it works, typically. This, uh, this gentleman here, Delbert Huber, is a great man in his prime. He can't find an attorney. He just cannot find an attorney. We need to find an attorney for this man. You think we can find an attorney for this man? I think you can find an attorney for this oh, man. Oh, I know I can be the attorney for this man. It's just something I, I feel really strongly about. This news is just unpleasant. I don't, I, hmm. I, I, I Why don't we go inside and discuss the situation further? It would make us so happy. I respect you and your home. However, paper boys don't have improper relations on the route. Hey. That's it. That's yeah. final. Huh. Well, gentlemen, come here, the both of you. Webster would define this as a blessing. So, gentlemen, please, we will see you again. Correct. Absolutely. After the route. After the route. After, After the, route. the route. After the route. You have my respect. My sister would be obliged for a return visit. Thank you, sir. Good to meet you, Roddy Dance. We'll see you tomorrow. That is what I like to hear. Let's go. That was really nice. This is a great guy. It's a great guy. Super dude. Nice, 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 nice new neighbor. Nice belly, nice, nice yeah. fence. Greatest. Best, best fence. This is my white home with the blue door. Here we are. Old Lake Wobegon. It's beautiful. You know, it wasn't like this back in the day. You heard about uh, Farmer Brown, right? Well, yeah, but those are kid stories. No, no, no. He's like the craziest killer you've ever known. Yeah. You don't remember? I mean, this wasn't that long ago. I mean, things have settled down now, but he could come out of the lake at any moment. I mean, there's no such thing as a farmer brown that lives in the lake. I think you should take this a little more serious. Yeah. Well, we'll see. pretty good at the tabbies, but maybe I need to work on my Siamese cats a little more. I think your Siamese cats are great. The way you handle their little paws, it's amazing. I'm so glad Grandma got me the new 580s because they just do not compare to the 560s. I know, they're so well sharpened and the way they cut through this paper, it's effortless. It's The lines are so crisp. They just glide across it. Mm -hmm. And they so smooth. Mm -hmm. And my hand just fits perfectly in them. I see the way you're looking at my cutting. I want to see you cut. Okay. Take it anymore. Hey man, great job out there, Trevor. Uh, you know, I'm really, really proud that you uh, totally, totally avoided that improper relation out there. Thanks. It was close. I saw it was hard. It just reminds me of you know, how much you've grown here at uh, the Osseo Press. Yep, I guess I have. Yeah. And you know, honestly, I have something for you as a gift. Really? Yeah. I got you a Bud Light. The route is over after all. My favorite. I know. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Enjoy it responsibly. Yeah, I love these things. I really appreciate that you've, you've noticed me grow because it wasn't easy. Yeah, yeah. Ember though, 
I mean, you did say, hey, it is possible to drown on land. Got to think about safety when drinking that stuff. You're right. You're Always good. practice safety. I don't care if you're sitting in church. Always think about safety. You'll be fine. You're right. You're always right. Keep it safe. And you know, when I get when I get this Bud Light in my hand and it hits my lips, it just feels so good to be back in the paper warehouse every day. There's Tom. You know what? We got to do something. You can tell me anything. There's there's something going on, and I. I've been meaning to tell you this, and it's just that I want to. What? I think it's. I can't. Oh. Ah. Is... Oh. Ah. Are you okay? Red, kindly obliged to meet you today. I came down your beautiful drive to introduce myself and my juice. What's your name? I'm Tom Valerius, Paperboy. Okay. Would you like a sip of my juice? I'm sorry, I don't have children. I don't. Oh, it's not for children. It's for toddlers of all ages. Nine out of ten people who drink my juice stay toddlers forever. Are you interested? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't. I couldn't do it. Oh no, you can. It takes a good strong man to try my juice and you are very strong and a loving man I can tell. You deserve this juice. It is 100% pure love. Do you want it? Try well, it. Tom Valerius is a pretty good judge of safety. Your juice seems safe. I will try it. Okay, yes. Gardening at a time like this. I'm like what? The afternoon? Well, whatever time it is. I mean, Farmer Brown is is coming. I don't. How could I not get this through your head yet? Farmer Brown. Okay. <laughs> a children's story. No, this isn't a butt slasher film or story. This is this is Farmer Brown. Jack, you need a nap. I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. Uh... 
It's a shame about the Saturday edition. Oh, yes, I missed the Saturday edition. Wait, wait. It's had my favorite wait. article. Wait, a Saturday? Oh, dear boy. Today is Sunday. It's already Sunday. Well, what about the Sunday edition? I thought you delivered the Sunday edition. Don't worry about it, Tom. I took care of the Sunday edition. Oh, thank God. Thankfully, you have someone reliable on the staff. Thank you. What is this colorful, exquisite prism that you're drinking a beverage out of? Let me offer you some. Maybe you heard of Brick Red. She just moved in the neighborhood. She's been distributing these juice packs. Have some. Thrust it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here, let's get a little uh, chinkaroo here. The old paper warehouse. I'm glad to see you guys here. You it's know? a pleasure to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it would be here. so soon. a bitch. Well, who do we have here? Hi, I'm uh, Bethany Bramble, the town mayor. I've seen your signs around town. Yeah, I think we're heard of you. They're very well designed. Yes, thank you, thank you. And I'm, the reason I'm here actually is pretty serious. Um, Farmer Brown um, has been attacking people, terrorizing people, and I'm just basically coming to warn you so that you are on your guard and you, you know what's going on and you protect yourselves appropriately. Will you please stay put? Will you stay put? Okay. Well, do you have to excuse me, madam? I do not mean to be a rude, rotten ramen. I already know what to expect of the surroundings in which Farmer Brown inhabits. I think you don't have a clue how serious this situation is. I think you don't know shit.
talking to, miss. Oh, I know who I'm talking to. Without trying to be rude, my name is Roddy Excuse Dance. Excuse me, Mr. Dance. Uh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Do you want to dance? I am so comfortable right now. I, I think you need to go back in the house and take your sister with you <clears throat> and protect yourselves accordingly to the risk that's outstanding right now. I don't foresee any risks or any danger upon this lake, for I've been here longer. Keep counting. Yeah, you take care of yourself. Keep counting. <sighs> Must between my toes, brown in my butt. One, two, loser zero. Three, to infinity. Have I told you how I see you? It's all good. Let's get it. Let's go. You're like John F. Kennedy, but a woman. Oh, boy. John F. Kennedy of 2013. I'd vote for you. Spin, spin, yes. As soon as I get close enough, we're gonna make our move. Just keep quiet, stay down here. We're gonna have what's ours, boy. I can already smell the fresh cut butt. We're gonna have that girl, that fresh cut butt, like you said. Please, spin. Spin. Oh, look at this little girl. She all killed herself. We don't even have to do nothing. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> She's on the grass. <laughs> she looks like a flapjack on the grass. I'm offended. Man, we don't even have to do no work. Oh, Ryan, we're going to have to go find ourselves another victim. Hell yeah, let's get out of here, Clem. Let's go. figured out how to kill Farmer Brown. Different. There's no time. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> oh, Sharpay, I love your feet. Oh, Yarny, your feet feel really good. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. I need to go wash my feet. some of my juice. It's my special juice. I don't want any of that juice. No. You take the juice? No. Love. I'm not interested in your juice. And I bet you want some youthful feet like mine. No. You have got to juice it, girl. No. no. But what about your own beautiful feet? No. You need this juice. No. 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 I know what I to do.
Hey. You ever had a bug plug that smells like peanut butter? You ever had that before? Oh, I'm gonna use some double brown magic on you. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, 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 here. Yeah, I'm gonna take this out of here. Yeah, yeah take it off. Yeah, do that too. Take it off. Yeah, take it off right here. Oh, there's it all there. Uh-huh. Cast this real, boy. Make love to that toilet with yeah. your face. Yeah. 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 Feel the brown magic. Feel it coming up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Here it comes. Okay now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. to move on, I want you to take over this paper warehouse. Me take over everything. Yeah. I think it's it's safe to say that you are next in line. You are you are heir to the throne. That's it. All this, this dynasty. Oh, thank you. So you've, earned, you've earned it. You've earned this. You've well, earned this. in light of this, there's there's something I need to warn you about. They're coming. What? Listen, they're they're. Well, well. 
If it isn't the two stupidest motherfuckers I've ever met. Paper's going digital. You know I'm always paying it to you, Tom. I'm gonna slash you so good. In and out and all the way around. Yeah, it's on your face. Glasses, what's your problem? You can't see shit? Tom, I'm gonna bury that ass. Don't worry, Job is not himself. He's under Farmer Brown's brown spell. Oh, I knew something was. Yo! Where are you up to? You don't want some of my juice? Just Saved us. What are you doing here? Oh, me? I, I just forgot my clarinet. You, uh, you guys take it easy. Look, Farmer Brown's brown magic's wearing off. Joe, are you okay? I think so. We made oh it. My God. <laughs> Still alive. Woo. Yeah, all good, man. That was really close. That was really close. <laughs> hey, paper boy. What's your advice? I want to know! You bastards have no idea! We get trouble every year! And now we're gonna take it away! Joba, we owe you something! Oh, 
I'm not going to go right where I want you. Shoulder to fall around. Step on your foot. Step on your foot. Uh, just like that. You want to step on your foot a little bit right now. Right around them. Where's your step south 12? So I'm a south 12 and say. Brown. 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 Where's your south 12? Young boy. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to smell it. Oh, you there it, it is. is. You there it is. Feel it now. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Yeah. This is my least favorite song, you bastard. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Oh my god! <laughs> What'd you bastards do to Joba? <laughs> He's in a better place now, being heaven! <laughs> what? You did. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's in a better place now, being heaven. Being heaven. You're old? Don't go on the tub with our rubber mat. I think I know what you said. Yeah, it's certainly the most important thing. When you're working with Tom Blair's paperboy delivering papers in Osseo, safety. Follow the rules, you be safe. Papers gonna read a headline saying Tom Valerius, paperboy, hero. Be in heaven. Get that? You work with Tom Valerius, you're safe. Be in heaven. Here's a pay for this. None your pretty pinkest dream, paperboy. Not again. Don't worry, I've seen this. They're at the center of the lake. Let's go. Did you find us out here in the center of the lake? Yeah, get out of here! Years and years I've been following you guys, and I'm back from the future to end this once and for all, Farmer Brown. I've seen enough pooping beans to last me a lifetime. Let's end this. Uh, here I hear the sound of beans blow from a butt wound. Daddy <laughs> 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 Yankee! Daddy Yankee! Did you hear the news? I got a little something for you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> From the future. Oh. And you know today's news? Daddy Yankee! Ooh.
You know what I do to future kids like you? I throw them in the goddamn Wobegon. <laughs> and then I give them to Lady Price's beast house. I give them turd beans for breakfast. For breakfast. Jack's dead. Brown. What? I heard that purple and brown don't go together. Tell yourself what the paper. And every day before I deliver, I like to read the news I'm delivering. Because you're bringing something into people's lives here. You're bringing the day. You're bringing the world. And if you don't know what you're bringing, nobody will appreciate you. This is life. Paper comes first.
afraid The father still inside